Okay, YouTubers, um, we're going to do a review um, at the uh, Dogfish Burton Batten. Um, I want a contest off of uh, Root Boy Cooks. I'll put a link down in my uh, video. And in that, I want a Tango Joe's uh, Spice, or it's Tango Spice. Yeah, Tango Spice uh, for chicken and ribs. Put that right there. We'll get into the beer review in a minute. Chicken and ribs and a midnight espresso. That's for obviously for steak. And tango stir fry oil. And with that, I was lucky enough to uh, to get this uh, Burton Batten uh, beer by Dogfish Head. Um, I've always wanted to try one of these for, for, for years, so I was pretty well lucky. And uh, I got sent this all the way from Florida. Um, Burton Batten beer, <laughs> Burton Batten beer. Uh, it's a 10% alcohol by volume at 70 IBUs. Made by Dogfish Head from Delaware. It's made of uh, two different beers. Uh, which I found very interesting, uh, an English stock ale, what they just, uh, an English stock ale that they just keep in a um, stainless steel fermenter, and then it's an IPA Imperial, an, an Imperial IPA. And then what they do is they, uh, they blend these two beers together after they, they take them out of both vessels, and they put it in an oak barrel. So an aged oak barrel beer, and I uh, heard real good things about this. And uh, there's uh, the dogfish shark right there. Anyways, I think this is my strongest beer up to date. Uh, <laughs> you don't get them like that up here. Well, you, you do. You can up here in Canada, but, uh, oh, look at that. But, um, it usually runs about 5 6%. So a nice Imperial IPA in an oak barrel with two beers in it. There's the, uh, there's the nice color. Hasn't got a, a real major head on it. Oh, I see it's bottle conditioned, which I like. So I got just a little bit of yeast in there, and I uh, I like that. Especially with my wheat beers, I'm big on that. Anyways, all kinds of carbonation in that. So I'm going in for the sniff. Smells like a, not slappy in the face for IBUs, even though I think this one, yeah, it's got 70 in it. Uh, but it, uh, as they say, it's well balanced. Going in for the taste. Very nice. Very nice. We have a beer up here uh, from uh, Garrison uh, that's uh, a little more hoppier than this, there, but uh, I, th I think it would be on the same level anyway, so, you know, for our Canadian beer and, uh, and this U.S. one, but this U.S. one is a beautiful beer. Well... How could you not recommend uh, IPA? And I mean, by just saying that it's an IPA with me, I mean you're going to get without even me tasting it, 
you're going to get 7 out of 10 anyways, I mean, because that's my favorite uh, type of beer. But uh, this one here is uh, easy 9, nine, nine eight and a half to a 9 out of a, out of a 10. You can taste the malt, very nice. A little bit of citrus. Yeah, that's a real good beer. I, I could drink that all day. I mean, like, of course, it's a 10% or so. That's like having uh, two pints of beer, so <laughs> you couldn't drink it all day. Or you get that tangle foot, one foot, and get tangled up with the other one. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm going to put the rest of that cloudy stuff in there, and everyone, some people goes, ooh, what are you doing? <laughs> so, uh, this is my review on the, on the Batten, on the uh, Burton Batten beer. Burton Batten IPA from Dogfish. I recommend this over again. And I, like I said before, a big thank you again to my buddy there and that, uh, uh, the Root Boy Cooks. And uh, like I say, check out his channel. It's a great channel. Um, he likes to, he, he uh, does all, uh, most of all his foods on a, on a grill. Makes everything from steak to chicken, you name it. And, uh, Real big, big endorsement on Tango Joe's uh, spices he is. He seems to use a lot of those. And what I like about it too, he always has a different beer. And sometimes he uh, cooks with the beer in that too. So anyways, that's my review. Don't want to get too uh, long in the tooth with that. Maybe that 10 percenter could be kicking in. And even though this is my first, huh? Say ho -wa. <laughs> Anyways. Thank you very much, guys, for uh, stopping by, and uh, cheers.